Hello and welcome to the Epic TV office and welcome to the gear show. Now as you know we've launched a range of camping gear in the Epic TV shop and a few weeks ago we did a gear show where I showed you a few of my favourite products. But as some of you pointed out we didn't really use them. So to rectify that I got hold of MSR, they sent us some cooking ware and today we're going to cook some campfire food to show you a few recipes, well a recipe, and how the gear works in real life. This is Filippo. Filippo is head of all things financial at Epic TV. He's a very serious man and he's Italian. So today, Filippo, I'm going to cook you Italian meatballs and pasta. Good. You reckon I could pull this off? I mean, you know me a long time now. Do you think I have the skills? I think you can cook, but I don't think you can cook good stuff. All right, well, uh, good to be supported by your bosses. I'll see you in a bit. Good luck. <laughs> So as you can see, I've got to impress a rather grumpy Italian. So I brought some kit with me to do that. I've got the Whisper Light stove set up with the gas canister. I have the ultralight kitchen set and that's got a chopping board and spatulas and salt and pepper shakers and everything I'm gonna need. This all in one pot and I'll show you all the goodies inside this in a second, but this is pretty special. And my favorite stove, the mini pocket rocket here, which I'm gonna use to boil up some water. So, Let's get cracking. Okay, so I've got everything set up and ready to go. And today, as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna cook meatballs. I appreciate there's vegetarian options uh, that you can cook, but today, this is what I'm doing. So, went to the shops last night, got a few ingredients, and I thought I'd make this a little bit more fancy. I mean, usually, if I'm sort of camping on the run, pesto, pasta, that will do. But, you know, I've got to please this Italian, so it's gonna be a bit more fancy. So I've got a few vegetables I'm gonna start with. Got a courgette going on, got a tomato, uh, and this little set with the ultralight means there's a chopping board, which is really, really useful. I don't know about you, but I've spent a lot of time cutting on my leg, cutting on a book, just cutting on the grass, doesn't work as well. So, using my knife, which it looks a little bit dirty, but it's not stainless steel, it is being sterilized in the past, so don't worry about that. So I'm just cracking up some tomatoes on this chopboard. Now, one of the things I really like about MSR products is the fact that it's all quite integrated into one, and you'll see with this pot set up. So, inside here, if I can open it, we've got our main big pot for cooking everything on here, and that's gonna be my sort of frying pot for today. We've got a bowl so you can eat with. You've got a mini little pot. This is gonna be my pasta pot, so I'll put that to one side. We've got two cups which uh, are insulated, so you can use them for coffee, it'll keep it a little bit warm, and cold drinks as well. So there's two of them. And you've got this a second little pan thing so I can put things in, so whack the tomato in that one to keep that separate. So it's kind of a two-person setup, this. Uh, there are lighter setups you can get, of course, just for a single-person use. But, again, rarely do you sort of just cook for yourself, I find. Like, often you're cooking for a few people and sharing resources, so, it's quite nice to have that double setup. So cracking a little bit of courgette. So now it's time to get that stove fired up. And as I said, I'm gonna use the big one for frying. You've gotta be a little bit careful with the fast and light stuff because it's not as heavy duty as a frying pan and is easy to burn it and burn the surface of that, which I have actually done in the past. So you've gotta be careful. Now this whisper light comes uh, with all the kit you need for using liquid fuel as well. Right now it's set up with a gas canister because that's all I had, but you can buy a liquid fuel capsule and there are different changes in this connecting device that all come within this handy little bag. And also included with the bag is this silver reflector panel. Now this may look tiny, but it's so useful for stopping the wind affecting your cooking and it makes boiling times and cooking times a lot quicker. So with the whisper light, I'll move out of the way so you can see it, you just simply Turn on the gas and you can hear it hissing through. There we go. Spark it up. There you go, it's on fire now. On fire, it's lit, I should say. Put the pan on top, a little bit of oil in there and just wait for it to go. And with this, you can simmer it using the knob on the end. You can see it gets way more intense or a little bit less. So I kind of want 
a little bit of power going through there, but not too much. So the Whisper Light is a bit of a bomber stove. With the Pocket Rocket, as you'll see in a minute, that's very small, very fast and light, but it doesn't quite got the flexibility the Whisper Light has. So if you're going for a bigger expedition, I would use the Whisper Light. So already that oil is starting to sizzle up, so I'm going to put the veggies in. And using item number two, one of the spatulas from the Fast and Light kit, clip it up, give it a little stir, and I'm going to turn it up a little bit and put the lid on. A little tip there, if you're trying to save gas, uh, and as starving poor climbers out there will know, I used to be that, um, you need to save every little bit of gas you can, especially if you're up on an alpine route and you've only got one cast canister. So always put the lid on to conserve that heat. So that's boiling up there. Well, that's going, I'm gonna get my meatballs ready. So I've got a little bit of mince that I bought earlier. And I'm gonna cut onto here some onion to give a little bit of depth and flavour to my meatball setup. Now obviously you can improve your own meatballs by adding chilies in there. Maybe a little bit of cheese in the middle, that's quite nice. I'm going to take half an onion here because I'm not going to cook many meatballs. Slice it up really nice and small. Put the onion... <laughs> I feel like I'm doing a cooking show here. Put the onion into the meat and just because I know that he likes his fancy stuff, I've got some garlic. Again, sort of roughly chop that in. Now, one of the advantages of the Whisper Light over the Pocket Rocket is with the Pocket Rocket, it's quite a small area and quite an intense flame. And that means the hottest part is right in the middle of the pan. And again, that can mean that you can burn some items. Whereas the Whisper Light, a little bit wider, the flame goes all the way around the pot, so it's a little easier for cooking big things like this. Lid back on, let that simmer. In the meantime, I'm going to mix this mince up, just kind of squish it all together. So once you've squished it all together, make some little balls. One of those mince things, especially in France, is pretty cheap and it can go a long, long, long way. So again, always cook between the few of you because it's nice, like you're cooking by yourself, but it can be a bit relaxing. It's good to have a bunch of mates around, share a few beers, maybe a glass of wine. So I'm only going to do about five meatballs, put the rest to one side and a brief pause while I go and wash my hands. Now I haven't been using this metal container just so you can see it a little better, but I'll show you what it looks like. Simply wrap it around and it just protects your stove from any wind and it means that all the heat is funneled upwards as well, which makes it cook quicker. But I'm going to take that out of the way for now, just so you can see what's going on. So, sit rep. Vegetables, almost done. I'm going to add a little bit more oil to there. Not a lot, just so it all fries up nicely. And I'm going to add my meatballs to the pan so everything cooks together like that. Put that to one side because it's raw meat now. You don't want to be doing anything else with that. Put the knife to one side. Put the lid back on to conserve a little bit of heat. Okay, now we're waiting. So while we're waiting for that to start to fry up, I'm going to set up the pocket rocket with the mini stove water container jobby thing uh, so we can get that water going for the pasta for the for the pasta sauce stuff to go with the meatballs so somewhere there you go gas canister oh i've lost my pocket where's my i've lost found, found it found my pocket rocket so i've used my pocket rocket literally all over the world uh, i've got an older model they've redesigned it since my one it's a little bit more compact and it works a little better as you can see very very small and all you do is you simply fold it out So you simply screw that on to the top of your gas canister. Some gas canisters have a different connection, but most of them are this kind of screw and design. And then you can see all ready to go and it just sits on top of the pot and that goes down there in its own, as the pot adds as a better, acts as a base and you're all ready to go. So, so I reckon we're about sort of five minutes off on that. Uh, I'm gonna put that on there. Back on. Right, I'm gonna grab some water to fill this up. So uh, wait there. Okay, so I've got my water, which I'm going to put here. Now, there's a few slight disadvantages with this pot setup. One of them being that you've only really got one handle, as you can see there, and I'm going to need it for this. So what I'm going to do is wait for this to be finished, cook all that together, put a lid in it so it's nice and ready to go, and then take the handle off. So, checking back onto here. We're getting there, we are getting there. Now, if I was doing a proper Italian feast and I was truly a professional, I would make my own sauce, but don't tell him we're gonna use jarred sauce. Just 
just a little bit. Stir all that together. Now, one of the coolest things, in my opinion, about the ultralight kitchen set is the salt and pepper shaker. Try saying that in a hurry. Campfire food can be a little bit bland. It's just one of those things. Having a little bit of salt and pepper with you just makes such a difference to your meals. Just brings them to that next level. So, ooh, we're cooking nice and up. Almost done with that. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper in there. Personally, I like things spicy. That might just be me. Give it a little shake. I reckon that's looking pretty good. So, ooh, make sure it doesn't fall off. That would be a disaster. So I'm gonna turn off the stove now. And as you can hear, it goes, it takes a while to turn it off because there's still gonna be gas in that pipeline feeding through into the stove. So don't be surprised if it doesn't just shut off immediately. Now this is very, very hot. You can hold it on the end. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Get my pocket rocket set up for the water. So there's my pocket rocket, very easy setup. With a few stove systems like Jetboil, for example, the ignition system is built into it. That's great. Personally, I don't like it. I like to have, uh, a lighter or matches with me at all times. And that's because in the past, I found that ignition system doesn't always work. And if you just rely on that, and you're halfway up a mountain and you need to boil water, uh, snow for water, then you're gonna be stuck. So I always put a lighter or matches in my bag anyway, and therefore, why do you need that ignition system if you're gonna carry it? It's just a personal thing. So make sure it's all set up properly. Turn it on. You can hear the little whoosh of gas, light it. With a pocket rocket, it's instant, you just turn it up. You can see it blasts, Ooh, flies, turn it down and it's nice and small. Take off my handle, put it onto this pot, clip it in, onto the stove. Let's blast it up and see how quickly this is going to heat the water. The power! So it's starting to boil already. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, just for a bit of flavour for that pasta. Now today, because I'm being fancy, uh, I've got fresh pasta, which cooks a little bit quicker than normal pasta. So I don't need very much of this. Just a little handful in there. Already boiling nicely. I'm gonna get my second spatula thing for a little bit of a stir. And as you can see, it's the versatility of this setup going here, which I really like. Uh, everything's contained within that pot set. You've got your plates, you've got your pots, you've got your mugs, so everything's ready to go. And with this little ultralight set, it's so small, you can just shove it in a backpack or just keep it in your car and it's always there, ready for when you need it for a quick meal. One minute. Okay, so pasta's cooked, we're ready to go. I'm gonna turn off the stove. Remember, it is still very, very hot. Water ready. I'm gonna use this little baby to strain it off. Of course, probably strain a little further from where you're sitting, but you know, I don't want to come out of frame. <laughs> okay, so pasta strained, I'm gonna get my pot. I'm gonna put the pasta inside. I'm gonna detach my handle. Put that there, reattach it on here. And it's so easy just to clip that on. It just takes a matter of seconds. Got my pot, got my pasta, got my sauce. Uh, I'm gonna take my stirring device stir it all together and now ladies and gentlemen now it's time to add a little je ne sais quoi to your meal so i think a little bit more salt quite a lot more pepper because as i said i like a bit of spice in my life give it all a stir it smells great looks pretty tasty and then i can put it in my handy bowl spoon it all out every bit of that lovely sauce that I definitely didn't buy from a shop. So this ultralight container does come with a washing up liquid dispenser that you can add washing up liquid to and a handy little drying towel thing so you can clean up after you. Okay, so food cooked, it's all ready to go. Let's take it to our Italian. Uh, I hope you enjoy, sir. Let's see. Mm. You bought the sauce, huh? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Mm. Very good. Well, uh, I feel like that's a success with the very grumpy Italian man. Uh, so as you can see, cracked together a very quick meal, took about 20 minutes-ish. All the gear is really, really cool and it's all in the Epic TV shop. So if you want to pick it up, you can grab it from there. 
You want any more? <laughs> no, thanks. I'm fine. Yes, lunch for me. See you soon.